Prince of Constance Bridge. Be 101 in June. In June? Wow, that's really close. How long have you been living in this house? 41 years. Since we moved here, I've known her uh, about like 34 years, well, 34 years, yeah. When we was doing the house up, the husband used to bring us like cups of tea over and things yeah. like that, and that's how we got to know them. What was your childhood like? Oh, quite happy childhood, yeah. We used to play out a lot more than when we were children, played outside. We all had the seasonal games. One part of the year you'd be playing there. Uh, Hopscotch. Oh yeah. And another time you'd be playing the skipping rope. And then there'd be the top and whip. But we as children used to go to what we call the penny rush a Saturday afternoon. Oh really? Penny <laughs> rush? Was that it's just a penny, just for kids. Oh right. And they're like cowboys and Indians and things like that, you oh, know. Like West more like Western movies. Though. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> that sounds really cool. <laughs> Would you say a lot of people in this community know Connie. Yeah, you know, especially down, we're quite a long avenue, but you know, like sort of probably the first about 10 houses on both sides all know Connie. You know, because before she started to lose her sight, she used to always be up and down going to the shops, but since she's like a sight's diminished, she doesn't really go out anymore, you know, then she broke her hip three years ago, so that's a slowed her down a little bit more, you know. But yeah, she used to be out and about quite a lot. No, there was quite a few from other like avenues round about, or came and stood in the street with her. We had to have it in the street because of COVID, because we wasn't. She had, you know, friends, just odd ones going round. But because of the limitation of people, you know, we had decided it was Leanne next door. who lives next door. Who organised the street party for her, which was really nice. Yeah. What do you like to do in your spare time now? No. Yeah. Just the tail of that's all I can do. <laughs> <laughs> and I can't sit and see television. Oh, right. I always have it on. I can't. Yeah. Uh, uh, but I do get talking books. Yeah, absolutely. Then I like a thing over there. What do you think of the coronavirus pandemic? Oh, goodness. <laughs> well, I had my jabs. Yeah. <laughs> but I've been okay. I've not been ill or anything with it, no. No. But. Uh, I go around, still go around with the dental wipes around the handles and things. Yeah. Yes. And I, I spray with the dental. Yes. I don't think you can smell it now. I've sprayed around this morning. I, I yeah. always do. Yeah. How do you feel about receiving the Queen's Telegram? Oh, quite pleased about that, <laughs> yes. Yeah. yeah, that's really amazing. Yeah. My, uh, my nephew uh, sorted that out. Yeah. yeah. We had a party. <laughs> oh, yeah. What are the secrets to living to uh, 100 years old? I've no secrets, love. I've just been fortunate and I always having good health. I respect I've that. no secrets to it, no. I've never been I, I, I used to be a smoker, I must admit, but but that's about 50 years ago. <laughs> wow. uh, and I and just have a drink on it when there's been occasions and yeah. I never have a drink in the house or anything. I'm, I'm not a drinker. But I've just been fortunate and having good health, that's it. Yeah. I can't remember it ever being really ill when I brought my uh, hip. They were amazed in the hospital. I went dead at 97 year old yeah, yeah. and that I'd never been in hospital before. No, she had a she had her operation and she was sat up in bed. So <laughs> nothing went wrong. That was it. That was the same day. Everybody got a shot when they visited me, didn't they? They had me being laid out. <laughs>